We're gonna find out who knows more about chronically online music, me or my co-host Jupiter. Neo Punk FM. Hi, welcome back to uh, Internet Music Trivia. Uh, five categories on the board right now. We've got Aura, that's like the mysterious curated vibe of, of rock stars. Uh, MS Paint albums, we had some interns recreate famous albums in MS Paint, you're gonna tell me what the album is. Video game OST is a classic, watch me stim, now watch me germa. You're gonna have to tell me what the germa clip is based on how hard I stim while watching it. Uh, and that song is trans. We changed the lyrics of some songs that you might or may not know and made them trans. So you gotta tell us what the original song is. Give me aura for 100. The ideal male form is stretched, warped, and oversaturated. This Cali rapper knew that, so he stole from DSBM aesthetics to make himself a greasier version of Luke Lovat. Oh, I got it. This is uh, Cemetery. It is Cemetery. Excellent. Keep things rolling. Let's do Aura 200. A criminal record always improves your aura. Take it from this auteur of aura who got a stain on his record by pissing all over the audience members at a concert he had in New Haven. New hey, Haven, Connecticut. That sounds more like your territory. Yeah, I heard there's blood in the streets. It is not pretty over there. Up there in the mean streets of Connecticut. So it's not R. Kelly. It's not some pervert. It's some pervert that people thought was cool. He never got old enough to be like a, a bona fide pervert. Are, are we talking like the 70s? Late 60s. Who would piss on somebody in the 60s to 70s? Probably a lot of rock stars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't narrow it down. Okay. The, the, Let the me you. No, no, I got it. I got it. They reference him in that 70s show. Um, Is it Lou Reed? No, I'm taking away your points for that. But also, think about Cemetery, but he's in the 60s. Johnny Cash. No. Jim Morrison. Yes, it's Jim Morrison. Ah. Catherine, if you could bring us back to the board, I'll do Aura for 300. What's the best way to protect your online experience? Oh, oh I, I know. know. It's, it's Aura, Aura, the sponsor, the sponsor of, of today's, today's video. video. Take it away, age. Just the other day, I got scammed out of tickets to go see Joyce Manor. The show was sold out, and a nice lady named Ashanti messaged me on Instagram saying she had tickets and I could buy them. I gave her my name, email, and phone number and sent her money and then I never heard back. Oh, bless his heart. Couldn't you just die? Unfortunately for me, my money is long gone and thanks to Ashanti, plenty of telemarketing and phishing databases have my information now. But with Aura, I can have automatic opt-out requests sent to these databases and have my information removed without me even needing to lift a finger. <clears throat> wow, that's crazy. What an idiot. It's true. Asia's personal information is all over the internet, thanks to his own personal negligence. But thanks to Aura, he can use their built-in VPN and antivirus software to browse his favorite websites. And I can use the parental controls feature to keep him under my thumb and make sure he never slips up ever again. Go to Aura.com slash NeopunkFM to get a 14-day free trial to see how much of your data is currently being sold. That's right, it's Aura. You guys both get points for that. MS Paint Albums 100. Wow. Oh, I know. It's like that Death Reps album, but if MC Ride farted all over the background. Yeah. My answer is Fart Military by the Fart Grips. Ex-military. Let's do Aura 500. My favorite wrestler guy action figure came to life and started posting hard as fuck. This spiritually Chinese poster is infamous for his cryptic Instagram post with no caption. It's John Cena. It is John Cena. Thanks to the marvel of AI, we now have machines that will tell you what you look like if you were spiritually Chinese. Yeah. Uh, give me aura for 400. This group of mysterious spellcasters has their hands deep in some shadowy government honeypots. What we know about them from Joey's songs is the deepest research that we dare to do on them. Is the Shadow Wizard Money Gang? It is Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. Wow, you put an old meme on here, Captain. Yeah. You're out of touch and you're gay. I would just like to make a disclaimer for everyone. A person that does not listen to rap put this together. So if any of the memes seem a bit outdated, if they're a bit burnt, we, we apologize. They gave me two days to write this video. Please help me. Please help me. You're getting hysterical. Let's do that song is trans for 100. Bitch, I wake up. No penis. Trans as fuck, I take estrogen. Now I feel affirmed as shit. <laughs> Jupiter. Uh, no stylist by <laughs> Destroy Lonely. By Destroy Gender. <laughs> yeah, Destroy Your Genitals. I, I'm liking the vibes. Can we keep Can we keep doing that song as trans 200? Looking like a girl who's a boy or a boy who's a girl. Call myself a boy or a girl because I'm gender fluid. 
always using they or them pronouns. I know it's blur, but I'm guessing is it like boys who like girls? Like I don't know. I guess. No, no. I got it. Is it it's blur weird. two by blur? No. Oh. Is it Blur 1 by Blur? Girls and boys by Blur! And I'm blur. feeling bisexual. Woo. That's like the song too. <laughs> Jupiter, why don't you pick something for us? Let's just do video game OSTs 100. Oh, I got it. Yeah, Johnny. This is a song that everyone knows from TikTok. Yeah. By Crystal Cuckold. Kerosene by Crystal Castles. That was good. That was good, Johnny. Give me something trans for 300. I'm gonna pay a lot more for something trans. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, freaking A. Playing Fallout New Vegas on the interweb. Changing my pronouns to they and them. I know this. I think... <laughs> this is wow, I can get sexual too. If I say anything. <laughs> I'd be chatting on the interweb. That song is trans for 400. I saw you this morning, I thought you might like to know. You used my dead name a few days ago. It wasn't cool, and you're a dick. You should feel regret. No, I don't know the answer to this, though. So. You only want to take a stab at it? Nah, I'd get it wrong. Jupiter? Sorry, Kath. I didn't change the lyrics at all! If you think about it, the updated name would be Age of uh, Gender Confirming Surgery by New Order. How, how about Age of Consent to take, to, to take HRT? But by new hormone replacement therapy. Yeah. Give me MS Paint albums 200. I, I know it. Yeah. Is this it by the strokes? Yeah, it is. It is actually, is this it? You know, it's funny. Julian Casablanca, he's at that age where he could never recreate this image like the way he took it back then. Can you believe he shaved his ass for that album? <laughs> yeah. Can we do um, MS Paint albums 300? Yes. Oh, I got it. This is that Descendants album. Milo gets Milo gets addicted to drugs. Milo grows up. Milo goes to college. Milo yeah, goes to college. it's Milo goes to college. Yeah. Oh, MS Paint albums four hundred. Oh, hey, say it with me. The hoes, the hoes gonna, gonna love this. this. Fiona Apple. I don't know the name of the album. I'm not giving you the points then. Is it Fiona Apple's big oiled up session? Apple. Fiona Apple takes on the big apple too. Home Alone in New York City. Fiona Apple, I'm gonna touch you little bro. Oh, when the pond of, okay. Yeah. In an MTV 2000s poll during 2000s New Year's, Gandhi versus Fiona Apple on who's cooler and Fiona Apple won, so. Did Fiona Apple touch kids? I don't think so. Fiona Apple touched kids? Is that what you said? No. They also probably spent the same amount of time on hunger strikes. Haha, <laughs> yeah. All right, give us something off the board now! Well, yeah, uh, MS now. Paint albums 500. Oh, I got it. Th this is a solo Morrissey album. Yeah. The last of the international Playboys. No, that is a good song, but no. Oh. No, so th this is the, uh, the last in the gang to die. You are the quarry. That song is on that album, isn't it? That's true, I think. This that, is that's also why he's dressed as a gangster. Let's finish off this trans at 500. Johnny's in the basement mixing up the hormones. I'm on Tumblr posting about the Beastie Boys. It, it's a Bob Dylan song. Then. Bob Dylan song. Radiohead stole the name of this song for an OK Computer song title also. Cre Creep by Bob Dylan. Fishy slash arpeggi by Bob Dylan. <laughs> Jigsaw Pieces Falling Into Places by Bob Dylan. Penis by Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Video Game OST 200. Is it Heaven or Las Vegas? Yes. By... Cocteau Twins. Jupiter, which one would you choose? I, I think we, we all choose, choose Las Vegas. Vegas. Let's finish off Video Game OSTs. 300, I would yeah. guess. Oh, oh, I know it. I know it's Slipknot. Wait, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna take the L on this one. I know, I know, I know it's, I know it's a slippity slop. Wait and bleed. Uh, yeah, I would have yeah. never in a million years got that. Can we do 400 video game OST? Yeah, let's do it.
It's that gay ass naive melody. Yeah, melody. my got it. I fucking hate David Byrne. Yo, David Byrne, if I see you, it's on fucking sight, bro. Don't ever come to my block. Do 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 do. Video game OST is 500. Let's finish it yeah. off. You incorrectly identified Jim Morrison as this artist who was referenced in that 70s show. Yeah, the Velvet Underground. It's just the one that's got that banana on it. Y'all got the record with the banana <laughs> on it. A monkey made that album cover. Yeah. I was like, this would be brilliant. Yeah. Phineas and Furs. Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> the Velvet Underground. Can we, can we do, um, watch me. Hi, I'm getting a call. Can we do, watch me stim, watch me Germa? 100. La, 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 la. La, la. <laughs> la, la. <laughs> Was that one? Was that? This is a bit of a guess. It's a really tricky category because I have to go, you know, based off of just what you're doing. But I'm gonna say the La La Dog, knowing you. It was the La La Dog. Okay, let's do. Uh, watch me stim now. Watch me Germa for two hundred. And they'll all go the fuck. It. What was that? Okay, by like the subtle eye movements. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it out there. Okay. Teacher noise. Okay. Yup, yup. Can we do uh, 300? I would be a wolf lion hybrid mix. <laughs> king of the jungle. jungle. Is this King of the jungle? Yes, yes. This is this is my favorite one. Keep on working me down the line. 400. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna say. Both a big fan of the Saw movies. I'm getting, is it gas, gas, gas? Yes, gas. Oh, we just wrap it up. Go to yeah. 500. I chop you up in a meat grinder, and the only thing that comes out that's left of you is your eyeball. Probably <laughs> 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 dead. Oh, this is meat grinder. Good job! Good job! Yeah. That was the end of round one. Good job, boys. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, you're in the lead, but uh, Jupiter, you can still bring it back. Let's go to round two. Welcome to round two. We've got five more categories for you. Uh, this happened to my buddy Eric. We're gonna be showing you a letterbox for you, and you have to tell me what movie it's from. Free Wi-Fi is browser games. My close personal friends, that's podcasts. Silent Generation can events speaks for itself, and would you rather? Johnny, you got the last one right, so Jupiter, why don't you give us something? I'll do uh, my close personal friends for a hundred, Catherine. He's not the fat one or Adam Friedland. He's the one in the middle. Yeah. Why don't you give us a small a smile, Dollar Store Hassan? I I know it. It's uh. I I like don't want to say. <laughs> it's Nick Mullen. It is Nick Mullen. Okay, Jupiter. Since you're such a Comtown fan. I'm um, don't you, call me that, please. Uh, <laughs> I'm a podcaster. I can't be. I can't be put into the same box as them. New York Punk FM. We 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 are one of zero. You can't put us in a box. I'm gonna get my jovial ass on to uh, <laughs> this happened to my buddy Eric. One hundred. Real Cowboys ride. No, I'm not gonna read it. It speaks for itself. I, I'm gonna say this is Brokeback Mountain. I appreciate this Brokeback Mountain review. Tagged Brokeback Mountain, and the review is by Brokeback Mountain. They're a real Brokeback fan. Yeah, they are. Uh, much like you guys. I heard you've seen it like a million times. Give me free Wi-Fi 100. What's that? I got it. This is uh, Papa's... Diarrhea. No. Papa's Creamery. No. Papa's Whipping Vomitorium. What? Papa's Freezeria. You make milkshakes. Oh, so I got it then. Mm. No, you said Creameria. It's Freezeria. It's Freeze, goddammit. Free Wi-Fi Areno for 200. Ooh, oh, ooh. this is that cool math game. Cool maths. But what's what's a game? Almost like a dude is running in the galaxy for real. I never play that game because it frustrated me. I, I liked playing the game where you had the lemonade stand, and I, I like playing chess. I, I wasn't into pursuing anything that was trivial. I'm, I'm only attached <laughs> to like uh, real goals, big things. If you're interested in in pursuing your goals, you might run towards them. Zerg rush. Zerg rush. All, all your base are belong to us. All your base are belong to us. I'm gonna barrel through down to free Wi-Fi 300. Let's do it. Oh, this is Balloon Tower Defense. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, yes. you didn't only wow. pick which one. Anybody wanna see my banana hammock before the year end? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
four hundred for free banana hammock. Oh, uh, th this is Age of War. Yes, yeah. Age of War. I can't compete with him. He's autistic. He's love loves war simulators, war generate all these things. I can't. Crusader Kings. Yeah. Wi-Fi five hundred. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's Friday, Friday Night Funkin'. No, I take that back. Uh, 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 uh. Oh fuck! No, it's the one with oh, the alien. Fuck. No. Uh, uh. Yes, 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 yes. Please say the name. Oh. Oh, it's a calm something. Uh, oh fuck. Which chipmunk is guessing the best Flash game right now? Oh, yeah. I hate you so much, it's Alien Hominid! Yeah, fuck. Silent Generation canon events for 100? My childhood on the peanut farm was made exponentially more lovely with this simple toy, comprised of two shapes often found in nature. I got it. My favorite game playing on my grandmother's farm as a child. Yep. Hoop and stick. Stick a hoop game, yup. Gimme canon events 200. If I knew he was in a wheelchair, I would have never voted for him the fourth time. But that FDR was tricky. He always delivered these audio-only addresses while sitting down. I got it. You didn't even fucking see him. It's on the radio. Go ahead, Johnny. Fireside chat. It is. It's the fireside chats. Fireside chat. I'm, I'm glad they put it in a minimum just to get that dude out of office. Give me 300. Pa said this spot in Hawaii would be a beautiful place to vacation in December. And boy, he was right. The sun was hot and so were those Japanese bombs. Uh, give me Pearl Harbor. That's Pearl Harbor, Johnny. Give me Silent Generation Canon events for 400. James Dean ruined a whole generation of men and women with his role as whiny teenage no good Nick, Jim Stark, in this 1995 classic. I got it. Yeah. Bravo by the cause. Yeah. Bravo by the cause. <laughs> Jupiter, there is no way of catching up at this point. Yeah, give me 500. As if the suit and the accent and the killings weren't baller enough, when well, this tough nut finally did get arrested, it was for tax evasion. Yeah, I, I got this one. Th this is Al Capone. What's his nickname? Your mama. <laughs> it's Al Capone. No, he has a nickname. Scarface? Yeah. <laughs> this happened to my buddy Eric, 200. Now do you know what a MILF is? I got it. Mm. American Pie. <laughs> is it The Graduate? Yes, it is The Graduate. This happened to my buddy Eric 300. The baby looks like an AirPod. Is this a racer head? Yeah. The baby does look like an AirPod. Like, they're right. I just think it's a stupid comment to make about that movie. My close personal friends for 200. This Brooklyn-based sweetheart is the female representations we need in cinema right now. Her debut feature length went many, many women have gone before uh, to Jeffrey Epstein's apartment. I'd love to be a guest on the Red Scare podcast. For free. Um... <laughs> Dasha Nekrasova, she directed it and wrote it. I'm sorry, I got a little too worked up, guys. I'm being silly. Um, I can't win anybody. I should just fuck myself, honestly. I'm a stain to this whole channel. <laughs> Can we do Michael's personal friend 300? Does this motherfucker ever shut up? This wannabe redneck Californian has interviewed every single dumbass on the internet. I can't get his clips out of my YouTube shorts. Who kind of looks like a He's red? He's a mullet. That's all. Like, go, oh, god damn it. Be for fucking for real. He wears like skinny jeans. Mullet, skinny jeans. Pretends to be a redneck. I think these clues are probably just bad. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I've got. Oh. He's funny. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, he's, he's funny. He, he's, he's really sharp. Mm. I want to do this happened to my buddy Eric, 400 bands. And to think it all started with two boyfriends laying on a stinky bathroom floor. Oh, I got it. Johnny? This is our third reference to Saw. Uh, yes. In this recording alone. It sure is, and it won't be our last. Give me, uh, would you rather for 100? Would you rather, uh, uncancel a celebrity that you like, or would you cancel someone that you find annoying? I would choose to uncancel a celebrity, and the person I'm gonna answer is is. Who is uncancel a celebrity? Why would you do that? I cancel someone that I find annoying. Give me the two hundred for would you rather? Would you rather fight uh, two hundred kindergartners or fifty third graders? I would fight the fifty third graders. Two hundred kindergartners? That's a bit too much. Yeah. But fifty third graders, I I I think that I I could like kite like in Black Ops Zombies to keep them all in like a train, and I I, I would just like like I would run a train. Well, I think you have more of a vendetta for the third graders than you do the kindergartners. Um, I I did have a worse time in third grade than kindergarten. Right. So. I second and third all of that because I would also fight fifty third graders. Johnny, you said it first.
Would you rather for five? If you could take your brain out and wash it in the sink and then you could put it back in your skull, would you rather wash it with hot or cold water? Well, I think hot water would, would be the closest thing to acclimate it to the temperature that it's been at and the cold water might do something wrong to it. I need you to think about like from if you are me. Then you would do like, like a weird crackhead one, so cold water. You know, cool water would be my personally, just they, taking you out of the equation, I would do cool water because it's kind of like coolant on like a PC and it would help my brain. Run yeah, faster. it's like liquid coolant. Yeah, so you can overclock your brain. Exactly. I would not do cold water. I would put it under hot water. Would you rather 400? Would you rather be in a cage match with an adult chimpanzee that has been fed a near lethal dose of opiates or would you mud wrestle a 300 pound man whose wife just left him for a rock climber? Definitely not the, the chimpanzee. Yeah, no, in the chimpanzee, you're, you're going to lose 10 out of 10 times. If, even if it wasn't on opiates. Near lethal though, like on the brink of death. He might be nodding. Oh, that's true. He's still around. He's still like fighting, but he's. It's, he can't feel pain, so it's even worse. You, you, you would have to be able to put him in a blood choke which would be very difficult with an adult chimpanzee because they're very strong. I welcome the threat of death, and I, in fact, am an adrenaline seeker. So uh, uh, uh. I'm going to close out this horrendous category known as the sound of my buddy, Eric. I've seen the... No, don't put me reading that. Wait, can, wait, can you read it? I can't see it. It's kind of blurry on our end. Can you read it? Can you read what it says? Yes, I have seen the light of Islam. Islam is a beautiful religion. So no doubt! Give me uh, my close personal friends 400. I don't know how, but this podcast, beloved by Tumblr users and misdirected chess players alike, managed to make fake supernatural archival recordings gay as hell. It sounds like something you'd know. Think of the only chess player that you know. What, what, what do you mean the only chess player I know? There, there, there's Gary Kasparov, there's Magnus Carlsen. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cough. Magnus the Tucker Carlson. He tucks his balls at, uh, to, to like intimidate his opponents. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't even need, I'll, I'll beat you before I need blood flow again. <laughs> it's my balls. <laughs> it's my balls. The Magnus guy. Uh, give me my close personal friends for five. For a dollar, name a woman. I'm serious. Despite the fact that she's been on her podcast since 2016, and she literally coined the term dirtbag left. Most of the male fans of this cast probably couldn't even tell me her name. Amber Rose. No. Oh, Amber Lee Frost. Yeah. Uh, give me Would You Rather for 300. Would you rather get freaky with Slenderman or be roommates with Jeff the Killer? Your so, freaky ass probably wants Slenderman. What? What? I don't know why you think that, Jupiter. You hear something? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Slenderman's in the room! Ah! Uh, welcome to the final, final round. The category is I've seen footage, so we're going to be taking a look at some footage. Actually, we're not. I'm going to be describing it for you. I've seen footage. I think I know what, what which of the five recycled albums I'm putting on the thumbnail of this episode. We dug up a classic from the archives. A 90s SoCal frontman verbally abused a teenager for multiple minutes after he dared to utter the clever pun uh, about his band's name. Uh, we were supposed to bet before. You were. All or nothing. Yeah, all or nothing. Okay. Do you know the answer? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. let's just say it together then, because we both know yeah. it. Yeah. Two, one. Sugar Gay Leonard! Roll the footage. Make a hole, gentlemen! Make a hole! Move it! Sugar Gay! Who said Sugar Gay? I'm beating your fucking ass! Who said that? Did huh? you? No. I choked your fucking face. You say that? No, I didn't say anything. Did you want to be smart? <laughs> did I choked say anything? Did I say anything? Did you say something? No, I did not say anything. I choked your fucking head. Make a hole, gentlemen! Make a hole! Congratulations, Johnny. We, we, we tied. You tied? Well, we yeah. both got it right. Yeah, because we both got it right at the same time. Good job! At the end of the day, we have our ups and our downs, but in the end... We have Aura. Aura.com slash Neopunk FM. Everybody wins with Aura.